posh people live in nicer places, shocker. <laughs> well, it is pretty much saying that um, the whitest parts of England and Wales have 144% more local paths. So basically, the criticism or observation is that racial minorities are not living in the predominantly racial, you know, the average uh, black or Asian person, sorry if I missed anyone out, is not living in uh, as much open space with paths and places as white people. Now, obviously, there are rich black people and Asian people, there are poor white people, but it's not a surprise when you think of built up areas that have um, race minorities and people who are uh, statistically are worse off than a lot of the white people. Obviously, there's all sorts of everywhere, but you, you know, statistics will show there are more racial minorities who have come over from other countries living in poor accommodation. It's no surprise they don't have as many walks in the parks. Yeah. It's a shame, but it's not like, oh my God, there's no, you know, there are far bigger problems than not being able to walk down a path. You know, they could stop having a path just plonked in the middle of a city and they can all take Where turns going up and down. It. Yeah, yeah, it's right. ridiculous because there's, there's already quite a lot of paths in uh, London. You can walk all the canals. If you go to Tottenham Marshes, there's all the uh, paths going, going around there. So, you know, the, the government's already done a lot of work to make sure that people, even, even if you're in a, a built up Area, uh, you can have access to some sort of, you know, outdoors and some sort of some sort of pathway, uh, so you can go and look, you know, feed the ducks or whatever. So the Guardian's just trying to make it seem as though, you know, it's this horrible punitive. There's just not as many paths per person as, you know, if you go to, I don't know, Buckinghamshire or whatever. Yeah. For a minute there, I thought you were going to say there are places you can walk in cities. They're called streets, and I thought. Yeah, it's fine. They've not been factored in. Streets yeah. you can definitely walk on. But they've got cars on them as well, so they don't count. Yeah, well, you know what the air's like. Uh, my favourite bit in this story is where they say that people in like the nice area, in the bad areas, have about 129 metres worth of path within 10 minutes' walk from their house. But uh, over 9,000 in, in some areas. In 10 minutes is not bad. How do you walk 9,000 metres? <laughs> in 10 minutes, I did the maths, it's just over five miles. It means 33.6 miles per hour you've got to walk. So it, it, you know, you the thing is, shoes. I always like. I'm, I suppose last time I was on the show, I got criticised for being too left leaning. And the fact of the matter is, I would always try and look at anything where someone says these people are not getting treated the same way. But no one's stealing their paths. <laughs> Bloody white people coming over here stealing our paths. You know, it's just the way the cities are built. The the, the problem goes back a long time, and it's not about paths now. Like. Those paths have not been there for a very long time. It's not this new thing. We did the path count. Why does it take you 30 years to do the path count? You know, it's not... It's, so, to me, this is not nice, but it's one of those byproducts of far bigger problems, and I think the path is the least of someone's problem, the, living on a council estate in London, getting mugged. And The Guardian That's, is only going to be happy when people coming across in small boats get not just a four-star hotel and a PlayStation, but also a path. Their own Each. Path. They get a Each. big path. Each.